Um, so there's more editing options and it's video.ai. And this was the same video that I just showed chopped up in Opus Clip. Video.ai gives me a lot more options for templates that I can use and places that the copy would go and how it presents the information. So this portrait split is kind of cool because it puts the words in the middle. And then, you know, there's me up top and Nathan down below. And so for viewer interest, it, like, it looks better um, on a reel. And then it also puts the yeah. subtitles in there. And uh, Nathan was posting about what he... So those are just three video tools. Let's say start with Pictory. If you're doing a bunch of shorts or Instagram, um, Opus Clip is great, but Pictory does, it'll help you get your content to video from various sources and it's really easy to use. It's not gonna produce the most professional looking videos and I'm sure we can get into that more in some, maybe an advanced special session, um, but this, this is really accessible for anybody who wants to start creating more videos because videos are very valuable content. And as you know, um, when you do a Google search, it produces videos. The answers are in videos. And the more you can produce videos that answer people's questions that lead them to your business, the better. So that is it. That's it for me. <laughs> I know that's not true. Uh, the best part <laughs> is we get her back every week. Uh, and I love it. And, um, you know, Nicole is somebody who um, has been using these tools for her clients, for her own company, um, you know, longer than most. And, uh, you know, has had a chance to see the evolution of the tools. Um, so given that perspective, Nicole, do you see the tools getting better? Uh, and, in, and if so, how? how? How are they getting better? Well, as we've seen with images, like with Mid Journey, the quality is better. The usability is better, flexibility. Um, right now, though, there are thousands of tools out there that do one specific thing. And I, I think we're going to see consolidation. We don't have that yet. Um, also, if you go to the AI Smart Marketing blog, we update it every week with our top five favorite tools because and our context is marketing and some business process, but it helps to have somebody like us to review marketing tools. Some other people might review different tools to, to show you what updates are and make sure that you're on top of it. And our number one goal is that it's accessible to you. So we don't necessarily look at the most high end we may look at them, but they're not as easy to use. And so whatever tools we choose are easiest to use for the most people who have no experience with or little experience doing these kind of things. Um, that's why I really like Pictory. It's so simple and you can produce a nice product that's going to represent your brand it, how you want it to with your colors and things like that. Um, but it, that's so our goal might be a little bit different. Like ours isn't to produce like the, you know, best animation or action video or anything. Ours is to produce the simplest version of these things. That, that's really interesting. I mean, that stands perhaps in a little bit of contrast to Anthony, right? So where Anthony yeah. is at the highest levels of design, I mean, I think inarguably working with the greatest design forward company in the history of, of corporate America with Apple. And, and you, you know, Nicole, are, are kind of on the other end of that spectrum, which is how do we make it simpler? How do we give companies that can never afford video the ability to make video at scale? Yeah. Because we all know that video is the Argo, is the language of the mobile internet. That, that's how people communicate. And so even though these tools are the most expensive and they're also the ones that are frankly the hardest to use, they're also in some ways the most important because when it comes to marketing at least, having strong video is going to really put your company in a place to, to communicate with the way audiences want you to. 
It, it does. And I don't want the idea that your video has to be perfect to stop you from getting it out there. I want you to be able to have a Zoom conversation with a customer or even just a Zoom conversation with yourself <laughs> and then take that, put it into Pictory, get it up and get it out or take your blog post and get it up and get it out because done is better than perfect. And you can run through a bunch of tests this way. And with video, when you're on Instagram, the not pretty, not perfect versions tend to convert better and draw people in because it feels like you're inviting somebody in to a private secret part of your life. When it's pretty and edited, it's produced very obviously. And so it test after test shows that people trust video that looks more raw and unproduced more than they trust video that looks like a real commercial because then they feel like they're being sold to. So if you're, if we're chopping up a zoom like this and putting it to video, then it's going to get a better response for the, for general markets. It's going to get a better response than, than highly produced video. Well, I love that. And I'm going to challenge my team, Mike and John and Tiffany who does our social media Let's use one of these tools and let's chop up one of these Zooms. I, I know a recording of a Zoom webinar that we can use uh, and let's see what, what comes and let's see how people react to it online. Um, we have a baseline that we can share, which is how, we, how our other more produced posts are doing.